Nothing is too good when it comes to the education of journalists. The life and death of our societies are there. We're here to attend the ceremony of uh, the, the Anna Lind uh, Mediterranean Awards. Uh, Gladly, I've been part of uh, both events, the previous one and this one. Uh, last year's it was organized in Amman, uh, with also uh, many faces from different regions. Uh, also, organizing it in Brussels is giving it more of a metropolitan, uh, let's say, uh, feeling. We had a very interesting session. Earlier sessions, we talked about sustainability of cultural exchanges, campaigns to raise awareness of cultural diversity, teaching empathy, increasing exchanges, working on curricula to include cross-cultural workshops. All these are very concrete steps and I really look forward to seeing more done in those fields. It has a huge power to, to really help bring about change. So when I was shortlisted for the award, I was doing the same thing that I'm doing now. I was based in Beirut as a freelance journalist. And the award really helped me in my career. I think it gave me an opportunity to meet a lot of other young journalists working in a similar field all across the region. Um, we spent a day together and we ended up exchanging information, staying in touch, and we've been able to help each other since then with stories and contacts and just keep up with each other's work a little bit. It's always a great opportunity to meet with journalists from different parts of the world. It's always great to uh, know the perceptions about uh, our part of the world and uh, to also hear about our perceptions about their own parts of the world. Um, and, and the experience has been always enriching. Actually meeting those fantastic journalists with a strong, strong people gives you the opportunity to learn from them, to learn from their issues they are fighting for, they are writing about. So it's a big opportunity for us to learn from them, from their experience. I'm very glad to be part of this adventure at the Annaline Foundation because I really believe in dialogue. I believe we need to build a mutual understanding between both shores of the Mediterranean if we want to reach a state of peace, or at least a state of understanding. Above all today, uh, in this environment where there are a lot of stereotypes, a lot of conflict, a lot of um, stress uh, and uh, problems in the region. You always have challenges reporting from the Arab region. You always have someone who's telling you why, and who's someone who's telling you not to report about a definite topic. But at the end, if you believe in journalism, and if you believe in free journalism, and if you believe in people, and people's right to express themselves free, you will overcome every challenge. It's all about every individual who or she or he has the right to be who they want to be, and to give them a platform to express themselves free. I mean, I think it's a great atmosphere this evening here at the European Parliament. It's, a, it's amazing to be here and, um, you know, to meet a lot of interesting people, fellow journalists, people from other backgrounds, all coming from interesting places uh, and with interesting stories. And I think, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the ceremony and, um, and also the panel discussion, which is uh, very promising and looks to be very interesting. And uh, the winner in the online category is Umberto Bacchi. In the press category, Annalisa Camilli. Uh, photography, Darren Zamet. In media and TV, Jafar of the And more special category, and uh, the winner of that uh, special category is Yason Athanasiadis. And uh, being a journalist or getting a generous award from an Alin Foundation is an honor for me because I like what they do and I see the potential they are um, uh, supporting and the, the chances they are giving for a lot of journalists in both in the Euro and in the Mediterranean and that's why um, it's, 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 it's special. And at the end of the day it's about the values and it's about bringing back humanistic values to the core of media literacy, media teaching, media practices.